Joining me now is Congressman Eric Swalwell of California and former FBI official Frank Figluzzi, MSNBC national security analyst. I do want to go to you first, Congress, Congressman, because the threats against lawmakers have skyrocketed. And January 6th seems to have only made it worse, um, up 144 percent from 2017 when Donald Trump was inaugurated to 2021. Um, it's, it's, it's become almost epidemic. You yourself have faced them. What do you make of what's going on in California? Yeah, it was always inevitable, well, what went Joy, on? that I this say, was what going went to happen. Sorry. That's a, yeah, it was always inevitable this was going to happen, and that's so sad. I, I just want to first wish uh, Paul Pelosi a swift recovery. And, and for your viewers to know, uh, you know, that this man is a generous, kind, charitable soul, uh, someone who loves his wife dearly and his children. But I remember uh, talking to Paul on January 6th, uh, once we were allowed back into the Capitol, and I went to the Speaker's office to see how the staff were doing, and I saw Paul consoling the staff uh, because he was at the Capitol uh, as this all had gone down. And he's such a sweet and kind man. And, and so for this to happen to him, as inevitable as it was, uh, it's still uh, something we can never accept. But these threats are on the rise. And I have to tell you, we have to draw the straight line between what is happening on the ground as these threats become centralized to decentralized from January 6th to spread out across the country. The straight line of Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, others in the MAGA Republican Party who glorify violence and their leader, Kevin McCarthy, who says nothing about it and does nothing to stop it. If that's the environment he's going to create, it's a green light to every assailant out there to use violence rather than voting to carry out your political will. 